And I think the conspirators uh, in the main got away with it, and I think there are some deaths still taking place as a result of those people, as a consequence of those people having uh, unusual information. And you say there's some deaths taking place. Uh, would you explain that? Well, I'll list uh, a number of them for you, uh, starting with uh, Warren Reynolds, who was uh, one of the two people who had got a good look at the Tippett killer escaping. Uh, Warren Reynolds wasn't sure that it was Oswald, and a few weeks after the assassination, he was uh, shot through the head. And after a few months in the hospital, he did recover. Uh, he thought maybe that it probably was Oswald. Uh, there was a fellow named Garner arrested for the... Uh, uh, shooting of, uh, of uh, Reynolds, and his alibi was a girl named uh, Betty Mooney McDonald. Uh, McDonald was arrested a week after she sprung uh, Garner and was arrested for fighting with a roommate and uh, was taken to the jail, and an hour later she was found hanged in her cell. Then we'll go to Hank Killam, who was the husband of uh, Wanda Joyce Killam, who worked at Ruby's Carousel Club. Hank Killam was a good friend of uh, John Carter, who lived at the Oswald Rooming House. Now, uh, Mrs. Killam told me that shortly after the assassination, her husband, who was a house painter, was hounded from job to job in Dallas by what she uh, classified as federal agents. So we don't know who they were. Mr. Jones, do you think these people were killed because of what they knew, or...? Uh, to me, it seems that when we're, uh, we're talking about more than a dozen people, we, it seems to me that they died because they either had unusual information or they had the opportunity to talk to Oswald or Ruby alone after they committed their part in history.